Hey everyone, the long-awaited So Craftastic duct tape trifold wallet tutorial is here. This is it, and to pay tribute to my bifold wallet tutorial that has over 2 million views, I'm so excited about that, so thank you to all of you who watched. If you haven't checked it out yet, then check it out and let's get it to 3 million plus views. I use duck brand duct tape for my basic wallet design. You can use any colors, brand, or number of colors that you would like. For my basic design, I use three colors. It has an ID pocket in the center and a hidden pocket behind that. Then there's two pockets on each side. And the cards won't show through this larger pocket. Finally, there is the billfold, and the front of them has this lovely trim. I also use this cutting board that I got from Walmart and an X-Acto knife. All materials can be purchased from craft stores, Walmart, Target, and other places. So without further ado, let's get to it. The base of my trifold wallet is 9 and 3 fourths inches long. To make the shell of your wallet, which will turn into the billfold, you'll want to cut 9 strips of tape that are a little bit longer than the length of your design. I make them longer because I can never line them up perfectly, and if you have a little bit of extra tape to work with, then you can trim it down neatly when they're all connected together. Now we're going to create a duct tape fabric that will form the billfold of the wallet, as I've already said. I'm going to lay eight of the strips that I just cut sticky side facing up, and I'm leaving the ninth one on the cutting board for now. You're gonna take a strip, flip it over so the colored side is facing up, and then you're going to stick that down onto another strip. Then you're going to flip this over and add another piece of tape. Flip it over again. When you get to strip number five, you're going to leave a tiny sliver of stickiness showing when you attach it. Continue flipping and adding a piece and flipping and adding a piece for the next three strips. Your duct tape fabric will look something like this. Now we're going to get to that ninth piece. You want this inside part, which stops at the pink, to be about three and three-fourths inches tall. You're going to place your ruler down and cut that strip in half the long way. Make sure you're pressing down really hard on the ruler so it stays put when you're cutting with the X-Acto knife. You're going to take one strip and add it to the inside to make it three and three-fourths inches tall, and then the other strip and add it to the top so that one is just a little bit taller than this inside one. But you want this sticky part to be on the outside, so you're going to fold it the other way, like so. Now I've added the extra half strip. And then I'm going to fold it down so it's at the 3 and 3 fourths mark. Remember the sticky gap is at the bottom. I made a little slit at the 3 and 3 fourths inch mark so I can fold this tape over and it will have a clean edge. So you're going to fold it onto the back like this. I sort of messed up and I folded this terribly so I had to rip it off. So I actually put an entire strip of tape on here, not a half strip like I was showing you guys. But normally the half strip works, that's what I did on here. But I am adding this half strip to this piece right here at the top. So this part of the billfold will be a little bit taller than this side. That's just my personal preference. And flip it and then you're just going to fold it over. Now we're going to get the length of this down to 9 and 3 fourths inches. Trim off a little bit of each end. For your trim, you're going to cut a piece of duct tape the exact same length as the shell of your wallet, so 9 and 3 fourths inches in my case. Then you're going to cut that trim in half long ways. You'll also want two little scrap pieces that are the same color as your trim. You're going to use one of the halves to line this top part with trim. And you're going to put the other one off to the side until the very end. I'm just using a large sandwich bag to keep this tape fresh. Take a little scrap piece and you're going to lay it right here. Fold it over to the front like so. Then do the exact same thing with this one on the other side here. Now take your trim. You want to stick it inside like so and make sure that the seam is hidden. Before we fold this trim onto the other side, we're going to join the two ends of the wallet. To join your ends, you'll need a piece that's the exact same height as them. So in my case, it's about 3 and 3 fourths inches. And then you're going to cut this piece in half. Attach one half to this end of the wallet and the other half to this end of the wallet. If your piece hangs over a little, you can just trim it off. I'm putting the other piece over here. Flip this entire piece over and then you're going to fold these so the sticky sides don't show. When I close the ends, I actually put about two-thirds of the tape on the inside and then folded about a third of it onto the back. This way, when you add the trim at the end, you won't see this fold-over line. Finally, it's time to take the top trim and fold it down. 
Moving on to pockets, I have two pockets on each side. You'll want to cut 11 strips of tape that are a little bit over three and a half inches long. I left 10 of them whole and then cut this 11th one in half. Before you add the pockets, you have to figure out where the folds of your wallet will be. You have to fold it into three equal sections. When you find the two marks, you can put a little dot on each with a pen or permanent marker or just make a tiny little indent with your X-Acto knife. Just don't cut through the layers of tape. For the smaller pocket, you're just going to take two of your pieces and lay them on top of one another so it's a double-sided mini sheet of duct tape. Then you're going to take one of those half pieces and you're going to put that along the top and line it kind of making trim but with the same color. If you want to do different colored trim, you can. I add this trim so there aren't any raw edges of tape. For the larger pocket, you are going to put one piece of tape facing sticky side up and then you're going to just overlap another piece of tape sticky side up. Overlap it very slightly then you're going to take the colored side and lay that down just forming a small duct tape sheet on the bottom. Then you're going to fold the remaining sticky part in half so the whole entire thing is black. Sometimes I mess up and there's a little sliver underneath but we can hide that by putting it face down. Then you'll need to cut some tiny pieces of tape to hold down your pockets. You'll want them to be pretty thin, maybe about a third of the width of a normal strip of duct tape. You're going to put the larger pocket down on one side. Then you're going to add that strip of tape to the top and to the bottom and you're going to stick that to the inside of the wallet. Then you're going to take the smaller pocket and you're going to use some more tiny strips of tape but you want those to be the exact same width as that piece. So I'm just putting that down to hold the pocket in place. You're going to repeat these steps on the other side. You're going to attach the large pocket first and then attach the small pocket on top of that by using the little pieces of tape to hold these pockets down. Now we're going to move on to the hidden pocket and the ID. You're actually going to make this hidden pocket the same way that you make these large pockets by sticking three of those pieces of tape together. But I trim some off so the final measurement is about two and a half by three and a half. You can cut your clear plastic to be the same size as this. Usually clear packaging tape works for me but I tried making this last night and I got a bunch of air bubbles so it's not working anymore. It worked in my fail wallet. I kind of want to cut it out of here. This but wallet is just over 8 inches. It just folds like really oddly and it's just not right so you have to have a longer wallet when you do a tri-fold. You can buy really good plastic but I have yet to get any. So I'm using a really cheap page protector from Target and I would recommend getting something thicker than this. It's almost as bad as using a Ziploc bag, but not quite. Here's my plastic, you can barely see it, but I'm going to line the top like I did right here with this small strip of duct tape. Fold it over to the back. I have these strips of tape that are the same height as this piece. I'm going to also add a piece of trim to this pocket. Try to find the exact center of your wallet, then fold the pocket in half to find the middle. Put your plastic on top of that and then you're going to attach these strips to the side. Now your card will fit into this but it will not fit into the ID because you have to trim off this little part here. Make a slit in the top layer of tape only to open it up like so and do it on the other side. Now your card will fit inside. My measuring is not perfect because this amount of blue is a tiny bit bigger than this one but we will just pretend it looks the same. Then I have this piece of tape that I cut into thirds. I made it the exact same length of this so it lines up with the other black trim. And then I'll just fold this over. I cut a little more off. Now I'm folding it onto this side. Now you can grab this other half of the trim that you added to the top at the very beginning. Lay this down along the inside of the wallet and then you'll have some to fold over of course. Then I add this little black sliver of tape just to make this look nicer. Finally cut a piece of trim that's the exact same height as your wallet. Then you're going to cut that in half so you can put one on this side and one on the other. I just stuck on this side of the trim and I'm repeating it over here of course. When you are attaching pieces make sure to run your nail along there to stick it down well. And fold it over. And finally you would cut this just one layer of tape 
This is so the billfold opens up completely. Here's my completed trifold wallet. I hope you like it and have fun making your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you end up making a trifold duct tape wallet of your own that kind of follows my design, then please post it as a video response to this video. I would love to see what you've come up with. Remember to check out my entire duct tape playlist, especially my bifold duct tape wallet tutorial, and please check out all of my other crafts as well. Also, I have a series called Crafty Friday, which means that I post a tutorial every single Friday, and I also post craft tutorials and other crafty videos throughout the week, so please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. My next duct tape craft will be this pencil pouch with Ziploc and a double colored inside. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye! Any colors you want? Oh. That did not open how I wanted it to. Hold on. I can't do it. Turn your car alarm off. Whoa, so crafty. Check it out. That was magical.